Are you ever confused on how to tune this thing? What's going on? It's Jason Ethan. There are a lot of different ways to tune a double bass. I've tried just about every one over the years and I've settled on two methods that I use pretty much every day. So we're going to get into both of them, when I use them and why they work best for me. I start every day the same way on the double bass, which is tuning each open string. And I either use an app like Tonal Energy, I like that and I'll leave links in the description below, or I've actually been starting to use this Diderio Chromatic Tuner. And the reason I like this is because I can clip it on my bridge. And it's so much more convenient to do that in an ensemble setting. I've tried to use my phone for years and that works fine, but the problem is like if it's loud, which it often is if I'm in rehearsal, the phone won't really pick it up and then I put it on my bridge and the phone's kind of falling off the bridge. So this Chromatic Tuner works great. And I just play each open string. And I wait to make sure that it's just right on the money. The other way I tune though is kind of a traditional way on bass and it's using these harmonics right here. If you were playing electric bass, this would be the seventh fret over the note D and this would be the fifth fret and it's over the note G. So on the G string, we have D and on the D string, we're over G. Say that three times fast. So those are the same note and the reason why we bass players like to use those, especially in an ensemble setting, is because, again, ensembles are noisy. And even when I'm subbing with the San Francisco Symphony, yeah, I've used that chromatic tuner to make sure I'm in tune, but things can change and maybe we warm up for a while, or maybe I had the calibration wrong on my tuner, or all sorts of things can happen. So you're gonna need to, or I'm going to need to double check, and the concertmaster will come out, an A will be played, and we check. And so I use these as like a verification. And if it's a little sharp or a little flat, I adjust accordingly. So back in the day, I used to only tune by ear and I would use those harmonics. That way is fine, but I find that these days just using a chromatic tuner would help. And I noticed one day everybody at the gig was using a chromatic tuner and I thought, eh, maybe I should start doing that too. And the reason why we use these harmonics and not the open strings is because they're just too stinking low, like. It's like sonic mud, you know? And I've been playing the bass for, I don't know, a long time at this point. And I still can barely tell if those open strings are in tune without using a tuner or without using these tuning harmonics. So that's how tuning works for me on the bass. I use both methods and I start by using the digital information that I'm seeing on my tuner and then using my ear to verify. And you can also check these harmonics against the open strings. And just make sure everything sounds nice and even. And if things are sounding funky and you're having a hard time getting your bass to settle, that could be a sign that you need to think about changing your strings. Check out this video. We've got linked up for more info on strings and we'll see you in the next one.